So I recently stumbled across an article in 9to5Mac which demonstrates how you can trick Face Unlock into identifying you whilst wearing a mask. Of course, those of you who have the Apple Watch Series 3 or later, you don't have to worry about this because Apple has since introduced the ability to unlock your phone using your watch. But for those of us who are not lucky enough to own an Apple Watch, here's how the trick works. So when you set up a face unlock, it requires two scans of your face. And on each scan, you need to cover one half of your face with the mask. So if you fold your mask in two, like so, on the first scan, just cover one half of your face, holding the mask from the tip of your nose, like so. And then on the second scan, just do the same thing on the other half of your face. So if we go into settings and scroll down to face ID and passcode, we have the option to set up an alternative appearance. When you're ready to start, click continue and complete the scan with the first half of your face covered. Be patient with it because your iPhone will probably whinge about your face being obstructed, but keep persevering and eventually you'll be able to complete the first scan. Switch your mask over to the other side of your face and do the same thing again on the second scan. Okay, so having set up face unlock for use with your mask, now let's see if it actually works. So here's my phone. I'll lock it. And then if I try and unlock it, there you go. Unlocked, it works. Unbelievable. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna work. <laughs> let's try that again. I'll lock it, unlocked, straight away. So that is how to unlock your face whilst wearing a mask. Now clearly doing this does undermine the security of using face unlock. So just be wary of that before you consider trying it. However, if you do currently wear a mask a lot whilst you're out and about, you might find this little trick quite useful. Okay, if you missed my video on why iPhone might be silencing some of your calls and diverting them straight to voicemail, then you might be interested in watching this. So here's an interesting one. Apparently lots of people are having an issue where their iPhone is silencing incoming calls and diverting them straight to voicemail. Now your immediate thought is probably that the phone is set to do not disturb. And this is where you would usually go to silence your phone. However, if you're having this problem and you're confident all your do not disturb settings are disabled, then there are a few more options you can try. The first is to make sure you don't have call forwarding enabled and that silence unknown callers is also disabled. You can find both of these options by opening settings and scrolling down to phone. Call forwarding is there in the middle of the list and near the bottom of the page is the option to silence unknown callers. When this setting is enabled, any call from an unknown number will be diverted straight to voicemail. And I imagine it was introduced to discourage telemarketers and scammers. However, if you think you might receive legitimate unknown number calls, then it's probably worth keeping this option disabled. If that doesn't solve your issue, another place to look is in screen time settings. Back in settings, click on screen time and choose communication limits. If you have screen time enabled, it's possible to block some phone calls during both screen time and outside of it. To be sure you don't miss a call, you want to set both of these to everyone. So those are the less obvious places to look which might be causing incoming calls not to ring. If you're still having trouble, then of course the most obvious place to check is do not disturb and you want this set to off as well as the scheduled option. And it's worth maybe just double checking that you don't have your volume turned down to zero. If none of these things work, then you're getting to the point where you might need to call Apple, which you can do by browsing to support.apple.com and clicking on get phone support. Before you go, if you are considering starting your own YouTube channel, or you just like to see how I create these videos, I have a free course on my website, which I'll link to below. No gimmicks, it is completely free, so I recommend having a look at that. If you found this video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hit subscribe for lots more quick tips like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.